Quick shout out to our ads. Man, I've too much vape. <laughs> Ready? Boom. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the General Banter Podcast. We would like to begin this episode by giving a quick shout out to our long-term sponsors, Manscaped.com. You know the crack. They've got the best tools for your family jewels. We hooked up Nile, didn't we? Yes. Did you have time to shave your nuts in the last 15 minutes? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Like two Easter eggs down there, gleaming. <laughs> You know the crack guys, they've sponsored us for ages. They've hung in there while others have fallen to the wayside with their tongue in cheek style. Uh, they got it all. What is it, Lawnmower 4.0 they're on now? We can't keep up. Uh, it's a premium product. It shaves the nuts down to the wood. Uh, it's, um, it's, it's snag free, so uh, you won't be shaving any bits of Serrano ham off your bag anytime soon. They got ball toner, they got ball deodorant. You know, get that deodorant on there so you don't have Worcester sauce nuts most of the day. Um, they, they give you free boxers. I had to take the boxers out of your pack now because they were XL and I don't think, I don't want to be dancing around the kitchen like you're wearing your boyfriend's boxers, you know what I mean? While you're making a couple of eggs. <laughs> Although you do want to let the nuts breathe after you've gone at them with the, the, the lawnmower 4.0. So anyway, my, my, my point is, if you go to masscape.com and use the code GEMBAM1, you get 20% off, which uh, is quite substantial because this is a premium product. When you go on the website, you know, you'll, you'll, you'll realize the 20% is quite the deal manscaped.com use code jamban1 20% off thanks for listening my guys Bomb. our second sponsor is uh, the calm app Connor the oh. calm app it oh, seems like an yeah. unlikely sponsor for this podcast because it's very uh, far from calm but uh, it, it is an app that has that's, the t- <laughs> that's a unique cal- collaboration it is it, it is. is it's, it's, yeah. it's like you know <laughs> Do you want to cause yourself some stress? And then do you want to like sort of quell that stress with uh, the calm app? It's got everything on there. Guided meditations, you know? So when you're buzzing your nuts, you're like, oosa. Uh, it is actually fairly handy. They've got uh, breathing techniques and stuff like that if you suffer from a bit of anxiety. And the best one is uh, the adult sort of bedtime stories read by celebrities. I know all about it. So you could be... I've caught my wife in bed with Matthew McConaughey many Matthew times. Matthew McConaughey, I have said it many times, he's the one. Mm-hmm. Because he, he does this sort of like, uh, the opening line is, well, hello there. And I don't know if I've made it <laughs> past that line ever. Uh, but it's great. And if you go to calm.com forward slash banter, you get 40% off a year's subscription. That's a year's worth of just being super calm. Hmm. And that's it, guys. Shout out to our sponsors. We move on. Our guest today, Connor Keys. We'll play the intro. Connor can't hear it. He's got no headphones. No headphones. I'll let you know when it's over. We're going. (laughs) It's Yums himself. In the house. Uh, We've done the usual thing where you turn up and we talk for an hour and then we go to record a podcast (laughs) and we've burned all the good stuff. (laughs) We'll mention Matthew McConaughey McConaughey there. Did you see? I I love the way in America it's like McConaughey. McConaughey. And if he was here, like McConaughey. McConaughey. Matty, Matty McConaughey. <laughs> we Matty. You know him well. Uh, did, you see yeah. him, did you see him doing a speech there after that, oh, yeah, that yeah, shooting yeah, in America? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's almost as if he was a, like a good actor. I don't know, <laughs> because I've seen, you know, there's been exposure with like the Johnny Depp trial and your woman yeah. and everything. And you see like acting. Oh. Like you see acting in the courtroom and yeah. she's all <laughs> giving all this shit. I don't know. I thought, I thought. Big Matt was fairly sincere with his. He seems to be. Yeah, he seems to be. And he I mean, seems, it's his hometown, wasn't it? I think. I, and I, I think a lot of going to be. I think you know, the general the word in the street is that he is a sound guy. You know. Yeah. Well, it's always been. Uh, it's always been the rumor. I suppose. Yeah, he's one of the good ones. Um, there's very few of them. Well, you know, and he's like uh, the, this week. Art was wearing these green Converse because she was a big mm. fan of nature, and it was the only way they can identify her. And he just went, "How about that?" And then he was like crying for a second. And then they weren't her Converse. Ah, well, they were probably blood splattered. They probably, they probably went and got a brand new pair. <laughs> they had that, I think, yeah. They're probably like, they used to be green, yeah. but now they're Ugh. stained brown with blood. <laughs> Fuck. No, I'd, I'd seen that, yeah, I'd seen I don't know, but I, I thought it was very weird that it was at the press office of the White House. Like, it's, it, you know, to be at that podium, yeah. it was a weird one. I don't know. It also seems like... Who's you know, next? Like, is uh, Nicki Minaj uh, up next to see? Uh, hopefully. That'd be good. <laughs> the easiest to be my convert. But like... <laughs> I think uh, it always seems mental where you're like, if, if if there's ever a place where they're supposed to sort out big yeah. rules and regulations like that, but they're sort of going, 
yeah, you have your, you can come in here and you can you can do your speech from here. <laughs> and he should have just went, any of you cunts want to fucking do anything about this? Yeah. You know? While I'm here, they're can like, we talk about they're it? They're all like, yeah, that's terrible. <laughs> you know, we'll give you a platform to speak. And they're like, well, surely in, in an office in the back there, we mm-hmm. can pull some fucking strings. I think it's weird for us because like you hear them talking about shooting prairie dogs. That's the reason why people need AR-15s, apparently. Yeah, what Prairie whatever. dogs. I'm like, fuck up. <laughs> okay. But that's the thing. It's like, you know, I think there should be an argument for like, some sort of working gun. Do you know what I mean? Like, if you go, do you want to buy this shotgun? Yeah, why? And he's like, well, I live on a fucking ranch and, you know, we have a few vermin. Yeah, there's there's proper reasons for it. Like, actual, like, yeah, yeah, uh, wildlife control. If you were buying an AR-15, your only answer should be, I'm going to Afghanistan or something. (laughs) You know, like, what do you need an AR-15 for? (laughs) I'm going to actual fucking Kiev or whatever it's called right now. (laughs) It's called Kiev for years, but now we're all saying it properly. I know, that was a weird one, wasn't it? Yeah. Everybody had to From go From now Kiev. on, it's Kiev. Yeah. Maybe that was a whole just... Uh, I always just ask people, well, what's the capital of France? And they say, Paris. And I go, no, it's not. It's Paris. Paris? <laughs> you fucking knobs. <laughs> anyway, what's the crack, man? You good? All good, yeah, all good. Apart from the uh, dealing with Matthew McConaughey and my wife, everything's good. Right? Really? Is that a real issue in the bedroom? Real issue. I started off like the first time. I was like, are you... And she was like, shush. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Don't interrupt quality time with Matt. Do you have to? And then after a few nights, I was like, put him back on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't sleep without him. <laughs> you, you, you're like, you walk, in, you walk in all sexy and take out one of those ox splitters. You know, the one that just spits it in the tape. All right, all right. All right, all right. All right. Just the two of us tonight. Just the three of us. You start developing that wee whistle. Oh, I was just, shh, maybe you were mad. What are you having for lunch, sir? Sir. <laughs> There's plenty of that about her own, sir. <laughs> sir. Jesus Christ. <laughs> we had a teacher in school and he had, a, he had that bad, like, mm. and it, people would every day, like, prank him. You know, you could go to the office and, like, put in a little announcement, I've lost my coat or whatever. And three times a week, someone, would, you remember the brand head? <laughs> yeah. And he would come up and he'd be like, there has been a purple head bag <laughs> stolen, <laughs> stolen from the PE department. <laughs> and like, you think he'd catch on, like you think of Friday, he'd be like, it seems to be losing this purple head bag quite frequently, you clumsy bastard. <laughs> I was like, I wonder doing now the moment around the fucking supermarkets about what the number plate is, N E one four A B G A. Yes, <laughs> I seen. Fucking... Oh fuck! I, speaking of supermarkets, have you? I don't know. When was the last time you drove out the other side of Belfast? Either of you know? Mm, been a while. See, just when you come out past the balls, mm-hmm. and you go up past there, there's like a, a triptych, like a three part. Uh, what do you call it? Like fucking. Oh my god! What do you call those billboard? Right. Yes. Um, for Sentra, but they're all like motivational, and it's all like. <laughs> Be defiant, be be fucking brave, and there's like a drag queen, and then the last one is like be something else. There's two lads in a van just eating, and you're just like Sentra. Be a jambon. Yeah, stop fucking harming this up. Just let's admit what it is. You know what I mean? I'm gonna get six dry goujons that have been there since fucking eight this morning, and eat them before I go home from a dinner. And your wife goes, "Have you eaten it?" You go, "Nah, nah, nah." nah, nah. <laughs> you fucking sweet chili drip on your chin. <laughs> Scotch egg in a pocket. <laughs> Did I spit that big laugh to you? Oh my god! So fucking gigging a bite, man. What's the crack? Yeah, Labrys last week was great. Yeah, good fun. Always is. I've uh, even though we had a fucking wedding party in the middle of it, which what was f- what was going on with Labrys? There was two nights in a row. Shout out their boy John Boy who DJed at our at our live uh-huh. podcast. There, yeah. he got married. Right, and he wasn't actually in the comedy night, but he called in. And he's like, "Oh, what's happening, man?" He's all dressed in a fucking velvet suit, like he looked like he was going to DJ Khaled's house. And well, then well, we had a actual like on the Thursday night. On the was, Thursday night, actual people got married that day. Well, I, I thought it was very because it was like somebody was sitting like all in white, yeah, not in a dress, but all just you know trousers and, uh, and I was like, "You're very fucking brave coming to a pub wearing all white today." Yeah, and uh, and then after a while, just talking about, "Oh, she was fucking," I'm not gonna lie, like there was a. A few Prosecco maybe taken at the I wedding. Sh- well, you see, I, I sort of know them. Right. You know, they've been to gigs before, you know, just chatting away. And I, I was like, you know, I pull a few strings here, get a... I actually asked the bar for champagne and the fellow was like, this is Lavery's. So we can basically do a premium Prosecco, <laughs> which means it has a cork in it. I'm <laughs> <laughs> uh, fair play to them. I mean, it's, it's up to, you know, if that's what they're wanting to do in your wedding evening, is to go to Lavery's. Well, uh, you know, I think they just came home to get married here and then back to Liverpool or whatever. Right. So mm-hmm. they just wanted to do it over here. Fox. Uh, it was the first time I've ever done, I've done a funeral party, 
but I've never done a wedding party before. Uh. <laughs> you were what? <laughs> they were in a gig, or they, you were hired to do a funeral party? Uh, I was hired. Ah, oh, stop! I was <laughs> in muff. I I know <laughs> I died in muff. Somebody had told me when I was the sixteen. <laughs> if somebody told me when I was sixteen, you're gonna die in muff someday. I'm like fucking happy days. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Mary Deanie's muff, actually. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Mary Deanie's is the name of the pub. Right. And it's Mary Deanie's muff. Christ. Don't go all right. But they've obviously got so much slagging about Mary Deanie's muff that they've put in Mary Deanie's and then the townland name and then muff. <laughs> oh, <laughs> right, okay. It's a, whatever the fucking random town name is. Uh, yeah, I went to, we turned up to, I think Sean Hegarty was there. Terry Keys had got me hooked up to it. It was my second or third gig. Oh, no. And we got in and... <laughs> there was a there was a, a a bar down here, but it was on a balcony above. Uh, there was a table of about twenty twenty two people sitting at it, and there was the comedy was happening down here. Said the barman, "What's the crack up there?" He says, "Oh, it's a Valentine's two for one sort of you know meal deal thing." I'm like, "Oh, okay." So the the comedy started. When I say comedy, loosely comedy started. The MC was a guy who doesn't do it anymore, but came running in. Didn't turn off any lights. Was his name Michael? Nope. Didn't turn off any lights. Didn't announce that he was coming on stage. Ran in in a balaclava onto the stage, right? <laughs> Started roaring and shouting to people. Did his name begin to say? <laughs> uh, no, I'll tell you afterwards. Half the audience <laughs> thought they were getting robbed. <laughs> the other half were ready to fucking run. They didn't know what was going on. So that was how the show started. Who did that? I'm not going to say any names. So I, I Jay? Never, no. You wouldn't know him. You wouldn't know him. Okay. And, uh, I feel like I know two or three people have ran on a balaclava. I know, well, this was the thing. And I just thought, of all the places too, because it's on the main road, so if there was going to be a robbery, it's the perfect location to do a robbery because you just pull in and drive off. You know, yeah. so, anyway. so as the show went on, like he was supposed to be the MC, absolute disaster, and fair play to Terry Keys. By the time he got on, Terry decided to be an MC, an actual MC. Yeah. And start talking. You know, this table above us was fucking talking away uh, through it, all the accent up before. So Terry was like, come on, down here, join yeah. us. You know, don't be fucking, you know, don't be separate. Don't so, be fucking rude. Ah, I don't be rude. Goddamn. All that chatting away in the middle of fucking. So Terry got them down. They st- there was, there was no, they were interspersed everywhere, all these different seats. And Terry continued to do his bit. <laughs> I'll never forget it. The day I day. Terry was doing, trying to do a bit of crowd work, trying to get people interested, trying to get going, and said to a, wom- a woman who was sitting arms folded, and said, Jesus Christ, love, who died? And she went, my father. <laughs> and we all looked at the barman, Hegarty and me and I <clears throat> and the barman was like, Oh, I just thought you said it was a Valentine's goes, oh, I didn't want to scare you. F- I was like, it's a fucking funeral party. He goes, ah, but we didn't have any room for to put them. So then we had to do this cake to this funeral party who weren't there for comedy. <laughs> they were obviously there to mourn the passing of their father. Okay, okay. And so, uh, I, so I, that's, I, initially at this story I thought you'd been someone who went, you know, be you know really bright <laughs> you know really bright in this fucking funeral party up. I don't think there's ever been a purposeful uh Listen, on purpose. Get, get yourself a plate of cocktail sausages and sit down. You're gonna love this. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Sean Haggerty <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it was the it was the weirdest night ever. To the I, my brother and my uncle had to come with me because you know when, when you start off early in comedy, your family support you. Aye, none of them seen me in about six years, but <laughs> that time they were all there, and they actually said to me, "Is this a hidden TV show? Like, is this an RTE thing? That's this because it was so surreal you couldn't have you I couldn't have made it up." It. That is fucking nuts. <laughs> Who died? Who died? Look, my father, and I was like, "Oh my." Oh, okay. And it was like if you're, if you're in a movie, it was like you know the Shaun of the Dead, where everything freezes and shoots yeah. over, and that's everybody's heads turning to the barman, going, "What the fuck?" Oh, no. <laughs> uh, Who said that, that line? Who said Terry? Keys. Terry? Yeah. yeah. Fucking hell! I, last time I seen Terry, I was walking through Belfast at like Christmas time, and some I could just see out the corner of my eye, someone threw something at me, and it hit me, and I looked around, it was him, and I was like, "What is this? A fucking? Are you like a bully in an eighties movie?" <laughs> Just throwing a bit of whatever he was eating, like fucking <laughs> popcorn or something, just threw it at me. I was like, what the fuck, bro? <laughs> what, are you doing? what happened to hello? I know. <laughs> I'd have heard you. <laughs> You're just right there. You fucking Egypt. <laughs> Your cock ring. I mean, I've told that story a million times, but that's that's all I remember with him. Go, I to, know. go to his house and just that one evening where everybody got bits out of it. You know, yeah. everybody had material out of it. Mickey got bullied by some uh, That's right. I, I, I judo, missed all that, but I heard player. all that. Yeah. <laughs> I've never seen a man get like pestered and cornered the way a woman would you know like hand on the wall like you're not fucking going anywhere moving. Mickey's just standing there petrified because he gets the old Sayanagi from this girl <laughs> he'd love it the cunt of course he would, of course he would. don't hit me yeah. but fuck don't choke me <laughs> leaning into it 
Oh my god. What's the what's the what's the scenario like at the minute with your podcast? Where what what the uh, avenue has it taken? Have, uh, you, have you just went away from the conspiracies, or do you still have it? On? No, we still have it. We re- uh, we've reached episode one hundred there recently on the on the. That's true. True, and that's the <laughs> on the 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 rabbit non one. Uh, yeah, it's 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 deadly because we just sort of keep an eye on what's happening in the world, and it's fucking it's mental. Like it is mental. It's, I, I come to you quarterly for the highlights. Yeah, <laughs> it it does be a bit crazy what's going on. Well, I mean, yeah, everybody can see what's going on. It's crazy. Like, what's but, what's the big what's the big ones at the minute? What's the big issues? Oh, f- money, money, money. Always the thing. Yeah. Everything, I, I, everything I, else is always, as always, is a distraction. I, I got Follow that. the money. I got that um, ledger thing here. You Good told man. you told me to yes. get that and fill it full of digital fucking silver. What was it? XLM. XLM. XLM or XRP allegedly are the gold and silver of the the new system. God damn. Um, but you'll see a lot of the ones are all will all crash. Like Bitcoin will all go fucking. It'll go to zero. And I feel like uh, so many things. Maybe it's just the the nature of news these days, but like things just shoot up and interest. Like the war, yeah. Like where is it? Like I bet, I bet you, if you went on a website, you're like, what's even going on there? You wouldn't, yeah, nothing. And, but the the changeover from COVID to the war was like twenty four hours. Oh yeah, it's just phew, all of a sudden you're like, oh okay, I we're know. on this, thing. and then it's just faded away. You just need something. You need something to be. To you be always get distracted. Right? They thought maybe Amber Heard and Johnny Depp was going to do the job, but I think I was doing a better job than anything. Aye, I'd seen people. You know, Diona was one of them. She turned up at Lavery's, but I'd seen people. Literally walking into traffic with the fucking phone she going, for the with, nice with the one, actual yeah. case going. Like, I didn't, I didn't watch any of it. Like, I seen bits and pieces of it. I seen like uh, I watched maybe two evenings of it, where I seen the the what, I was going to say the butler, but he wasn't the butler. He was like a guy who manages the property in London. Right, but he was like proper posh, you know. Mm. You know? Um, and yeah, it was funny as fuck. Like just watching him basically tout on Amber Heard and how much she was drinking, like two bottles of red wine a day. Could you be <laughs> fucked? With any, like, could you be fu- like if you were Johnny Depp, even? But if you're Johnny could, Depp, could you be arsed sitting through that for a fucking? I wouldn't. I don't I know, know what, what I'd, I'd have to. You'd, other than like custody of a ch- my own child or yeah. something, like I wouldn't sit there any of that shit. Uh, you, that's why you genuinely think was it a purposeful fucking distraction? Like, because what is he doing there? Like, what, what are you doing you there? Know, what, you know, everyone's never would have done that in his whole life. Firing career. gear up their nose to stay awake. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or the, the the shitting on the bed was my. I was like, what the. F- like I know, like it was trending at the time, Amber Turd. Like, yeah, but like, whoa, like that, that it was fucking fodder. Like you were watching it like a soap. You're going, she shit on his fucking bed. Yeah, like fucking Edward shitty hands. I know. <laughs> I was watching like you can shit on my face if you want love. <laughs> I I watched that uh, for for whatever reason. One of my favorite movies is Zombieland. <laughs> I, love I don't know. I love the credits. I love fucking. I love everything about it too. Yeah, and uh, the cameo from Bill Murray. You know, it, it, it's it's very cool to me. But uh, it has to be the greatest cameo of all time. Oh, for sure, it has to be. Or my other favorite scene ever is I've said to you before when, um, in fucking this is the end mm-hmm. when Danny McBride is revealed. <laughs> That's my favorite bit of cinema <laughs> ever. But that was uh, a great show too. What the fuck was I gonna say? Oh, I seen her in that, and I was like, God damn, she's fucking. Ah, she's very hot though. Ah, you can see what it's now into it or not. You can see where Johnny would have maybe fallen for along the way. Ah, not 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 recently. (laughs) Like she's, uh, I don't, I think that was done on purpose to make herself look. I think she's, you know, the the coke and the booze is fucking hit her the way it hit the the way it hit Johnny. Like yeah, the years creep up. I think they creep up a lot worse on a woman than on a man. Probably because you can you can be sort of. Especially the look he's went for, you can be interesting and weathered and the yeah. way he fucking bums about with a guitar. <laughs> like, well, he's a, let me yeah. tell you something, he's a fucking asshole. Tony Depp is a fucking weirdo. He is oh, a weirdo. I fucking sit here smoking licorice rollies and talking to shit. <laughs> Fuck up, Johnny, you fucking weird cunt. Do you know what I mean? Them shit yeah. wouldn't have been the weirdest thing in your bed, I'm sure. I'm so fucking I pushed aside yeah. the needles and the fucking empty <laughs> bottles and my, you know, fucking whatever, notebooks full of letters to... Yeah, the stuff that he was fucking doing, they, even back in the day with Winona Ryder, I mean, it was all, he was always mental. Like, yeah, was there, always, there always not. I mean, you do, you see him when he's younger and you're like, he got fucking red-eyed too. Oh, gorgeous. <laughs> Absolutely. Gorgeous, but the two of them, you know, they just fucking lose their minds, full of coke. Get the yeah. bags around the eyes. Remember he did the, the Winona Forever yeah. tattoo? <laughs> he changed it to Winona Forever. Like, all those sort of, you're like, Johnny, you've made some bad decisions. Like, and you you're see, still making bad decisions. <laughs> I've seen um, there was one of these conspiracy pages where they were like, if you look in the, you know, the pit of his elbow, right. there's a tattoo of Alistair Crowley. Right, okay. But it could be fucking anybody. Like, but could be anybody. One yeah. of these pages, where, you know, yeah. one of those pages where like, you know, you enjoy a conspiracy. You know the ones where it's like absolutely fucking... All the when other you, end, like yeah, you're yeah, just like yeah. when you fucking chill out, not yeah, you know, yeah. like 
They're take they're 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 fighting meanings where there's no meanings to be found. You know the yeah. ones where you start to, you know like the Diana ones where like oh she hit the thirteenth pillar and the you know you're like this is way way too <laughs> well traveling thirty three miles an hour yeah which it's, means the, well, you know. well thirty three is a CIA number apparently so if you see thirty three anywhere that's usually the CIA. yeah so, yeah who gives all a fuck, that shit like, like uh, yeah hits a wall and CIA, CIA, or, CIA or like <laughs> yeah it does be fascinating bit. watching how some people like a lot of cold reading goes on of the going well this definitely happens because of this and then you're like sometimes you can't. Sometimes you can't argue against it because what they have said is correct. Yeah. But that doesn't mean it's true. Yeah, but, you know, you can... You no, know, they might put numbers brain, and go, these numbers add up together to give you this number. So that means it's... The, and you're like, okay, like, that is true, but that doesn't Human brains mean, are quite literally designed to, like, pick up pattern. Yeah, In absolutely. anything, behavior, sound. Like, you're, you know, you're... In a Faces? Fu- it's like that fucking... Is a Chemical Brothers song where it's out the window of a train and it's like everything starts going past in a rhythm. Mm-hmm. It's a great video. But the, you do that with everything. Everything. You start, if you, you know, if you fucking, if you go to buy a car, yeah. you're driving down the road and you're, fuck, I've seen 15 of these cars. Uh, you, you know, because it's yeah. like in your mind. It's a, but I mean, it's you, go to, you go to any fucking mental big city and just watch people and you'll, if you see somebody you know, you, you instantly, you know what I mean? You see them, you, you recognize them. Yeah. That, that facial recognition, the speed we can recognize people, that's fucking unreal. I'm am- see, I am amazing at that. I was amazing at that. I'm, I don't know why, but I'm starting to lose that short term memory thing. Don't don't ask me your name, but I, but I will. <laughs> you I don't li- know the face. <clears throat> I literally be. I was in Port Rush one day, and I was like, just seeing this guy, and I was like, I seen him at Craig Alvin Hospital. <laughs> That's mad. Like just, <laughs> I could I could be the best spy ever with just or like detective with one skill. <laughs> call, call and get his face guy, <laughs> yeah. F- face scanner. <laughs> Just put my fucking just put me out of <laughs> some bed asleep. Have you seen this man? I was like, <laughs> yes, Tesco's, two forty-five p.m. Wednesday, and then back into the wee fucking, <laughs> just back into, into the crowd yeah. chamber. Oh. <laughs> your very own minority report job. Just <laughs> what do you what do you think of this Boris thing at the minute? Oh, it's another distraction, isn't it? I don't know, but also leave. You know what I mean? Would you not be if you're at a house party and everyone was like? We've all had a word, and um, you know we, we think you should all leave. And you went, no, yeah, I'm just gonna stay here. I I think it's I I'd be fascinated at how many people have given up their mind space to it. I I still can't believe people fall for things like that. That it's because it's been because it's drummed home to you like by the news all the time. It it makes it a big deal, but it's it's not a big. Like, he has done hell of a lot worse to people oh, yeah. that turned up to a fucking party that and get a hundred pound fine he has done a hell of a lot worse talk but, to me talk to me <laughs> well fucking look at the nhs look at the conservatives have done to that this last fucking 10 years like that's criminal what they've done to it yeah but that's that's worry about him having cake at a fucking party you know what i mean it's it's farcical like it's a fucking joke but we, 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 we fall for it all the time everywhere you go now the ukraine thing was swapped over now by party gate this fucking gate thing on the end of everything really fucking annoys me too. Yeah. That's really getting on my fucking tits. I couldn't tell you what Watergate was. It was the name of a hotel. I know, but, uh-huh. you know, no, don't, don't ask me about the, you know, the events around it. No, Elon Gate is the best, but that was the best one. <laughs> that was the best one, I have to say. <laughs> it was the only one that actually worked. The rest are fucking shade. Uh, but yeah, I, I don't know why. An awful distraction. When you see that the fucking... What are they distracting from, Connor, is the question. Have you been to a petrol pump recently? Yeah. Yeah. It's like a, it's like a fucking <laughs> Formula One pit stop. There's actually a fucking... Box, uh, box. It's way weird watching it. If you see, there's a, a senator called John Kennedy. I don't know if he's one of the Kennedy's connection, but he's a Republican, so he's probably not. But he just, like, last night or night before, said... <laughs> and I just... It's so weird hearing a guy in his 60s talk like this. He was like, the, the price of gas at the moment is so expensive, it'd be better to buy cocaine and run everywhere. <laughs> I was like, that's fucking brilliant. Nice. <laughs> I go and run everywhere. It's still cheaper than going fucking pit and petrol. I know. I have a I have a bit at the minute about like, uh, you know, the heyday of throwing petrol bombs in Northern Ireland. Oh, long gone. Yeah, <laughs> 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 it's home heating oil. But do you, you I, have to wait for it to light. But I honestly think I I think across the board, and I don't know what it is. Everything is fucking ludicrously expensive. Yeah. Well, what goes up must come down. Exactly. You know. That's what I'm saying. That's that. I mean, it's it's almost like it's intentional. To, to crash it, look, yeah. For what? Where do you think they want to go with it? Well, that's the that, that that's where we've always been in our podcast going right. Is this for good or is it for bad? Mm-hmm. It's definitely happening, but where it goes on the other side, we don't. Because I know no the idea. fuel, the fuel was like, um, 
it's like anything sort of jumping up in price. It's like when f- cigarettes jumped up in price, people just fucking bought it anyway. Fuel jumps up in price, you just buy it anyway. Yeah. Other things across the board, though, like, you know, we tried to get a fucking hotel in Dublin midweek. There mm-hmm. was absolutely nothing available. And the few ones that were available were like £900 a night. Unreal. You're like, for, like a, for a Tuesday in Dublin? For Crazy. like, not, and I mean, this is like just a fucking hotel, not like. It's 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 basically like another form of lockdown, isn't it? Because you really you're have just, to really decide if you could, like, if you're going to take a run to the beach, you're like, well, it's going to cost me 50 fucking quid. You know, so will yeah. I make that decision to go into, you know. So maybe it is a way of keeping people limiting down their, their travel and stuff. But mm. because the thing is, the price of the oil per barrel is at its lowest since 2009. But it's at its That's highest. That's it, boys. <laughs> We're getting into barrels. <laughs> but it's been a My high- tour's called both barrels. No, uh, <laughs> I should have just put it on the side of a shell. And then fucking- the oil in the middle, both oil barrels. <laughs> So that something's going fucking, but I nearly crashed the car already with the fucking radio. Like, because we're all talking about the price of obviously the fuel and your fucking home heating oil. Remember the home heating oil fucking travel, whatever. So, the, the, and it, it is so fucking mental that the way the world works. So, on one hand, you've got us paying travel amount of money, and then on the news one morning it was like Shell has just announced they have trebled their profits in the last quarter, and you're going to fucking no way because we've trebled yeah. the fucking price. But nobody says anything. Nobody's like, ah, yeah, but that's okay. That's what they're supposed to do. And here's us fucking dicks suffering to, try to figure out if we can go for a drive or not. There's a there's an egg machine around here. I know. Right? Only in Toronto, deadly. Yeah. It's like a vending machine. Mm-hmm. And it was three quid forever for like 18 eggs. Bargain. Unreal. Fresh. Yeah. And recently they were like, terribly sorry to announce that we've had to put the eggs up to £3.50 just for cost of feed and stuff. Mm-hmm. And you're like, that's absolutely fine. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah, didn't double What I price. don't want <laughs> is an arm in my asshole when I'm trying to fucking <laughs> fill my car. Yeah, it's Do you know what I mean? It's unbelievable. Again. It's like just... But even like the most basic things, like even if you're going to buy, uh, like your your shopping trolley is up 25% across the board. Like everything has went up. It's £1.25. <laughs> That's that's why I work. That's why I work. My I go buy a, a packet of uh, uh, chocolate buttons <laughs> that were a pound are now one pound twenty five, and I'm like, that's a twenty five percent increase. You multiply it across your trolley. That's because I've just trolley full of buttons. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a haberdashery, right? Here. <laughs> uh, nah. So the money thing is is fucking is crazy because they, they 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 printed seven. The Federal Reserve printed seven point one trillion dollars over COVID trillion <laughs> i heard some fact the other day and it was mental. literally like you know whatever amount of money was in circulation and someone was like whatever percentage of it they didn't know where it was it doesn't exist it's yeah fractional reserve lending colin what the fuck is that right exactly that's where a bank can give it talking a hundred times the amount of money they have in their bank oh that's handy isn't it that's handy i'd love to be able to do that go listen i have a hundred pound there but listen what i actually have is a hundred times that so just let me spend it <laughs> There was something to be said about when we read out my great granny's house and she had about 30 grand under the fucking carpet and the stairs. That, yeah. But again, it's going to be one of those things where it's not going to be any good to you if a, a latte is 50, no, it was if northern, a latte's 50 quid. Northern bank notes, <laughs> like, but. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I, whenever you uh, were in the group chat there about guys, just we tip, you know, I think you should buy some of this, this stuff. And everyone was having a bit of a laugh, but half the people went and bought it. Yeah. You know what I mean? I was like, ah, oh, fucking Al Casey losing his mind there. And then I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> fucking gobbling it's, it up. Uh, yeah, it's just, a, I mean, it's, a, I would never say to anybody go and fucking be foolish and lose, you know, fire yeah. a lot of money in. But uh, if you take a look at what's going on in that fucking community at the moment of the crypto thing, um, there's definitely something happening with the banks. The banks are definitely changing. Now, whether they're changing over, they've all announced that they're going to have a, what did they, CBDC, so a central bank digital currency. They're all going to have one. Bank of England, Bank of America, they've all announced they're going to have, but it's just which ones. You would have. You're, too, you're probably too young to remember. Do you remember the dot com bus, the bubble? And like, I was eighteen at the time, nineteen. So ninety nine, they had this massive. The websites were just extortionate prices. Yeah, fucking extortionate. That's what, was, that was a job. You would buy up. You would buy up websites and domains and sell them on. It was a massive fucking thing. And this is the same with cryptocurrency. It's, it's more or less the exact same thing. We know the ones that survived the dot com bubble, the Googles, the Amazons. The you know what I mean? Yeah. This is the same thing. We don't know which ones are going to be the survivors. But there are going to be survivors that are going to come out of it. Like, but it seems is the to be, approach at the minute just to keep all your fingers and toes in different pies? Not really. If you were talking to the guys who had Luna, that thing that went from fifty five pound a share down to not point not 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 five b class in 
12 hours you wouldn't be telling them to have figures in that pile like you know what i mean so there's definitely there's that's def- what i mean if you had fucking there's things are going to drop like fuck like it's going to be if you had if you had money in uh fucking 10 things 15 things mm. coins, yeah well, well you, would try and, you would try and focus it well we'll talk because i don't want to bore the fucking life out of people but there's a <laughs> Truth bombs, man. Welcome to Truth Bombs. It's getting serious. You could, yeah, but you there's could. a different vibe in this, uh, there's a, this new office. You know, a, that's what it is. It's, it's too much natural light coming in. This problem. Uh, yeah, so there, I mean, there's loads of changes happening. You can see them going on at the moment. Yesterday, they announced a big thing about Protocol 19. You ever hear that? No? Not our protocol here, but it's another financial fucking changeover from the stellar. Anyway, that's just. See, I'm, what, I'm going to bore the fuck out See, whenever you were talking about, like, you know, guys, you should get some of this, blah, blah, blah. I was like, you're like, oh, they're moving away from Swift Bank and all this here. And I was like, I can just imagine you in like a Bob and Burt's in Oma <laughs> going, can I get the latte, for, you know, two sugars and a fucking uh, cinnamon swirl? And she just turns around and you're holding out the 20 and she's like, we don't take that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> we only take the fucking XL oh, or XLRs or whatever the fuck it's XLRs. Nail be worth a fucking fortune. <laughs> I'll just come in one day and be like, bro, I bought 50 BLMs. <laughs> Have I been swindled? <laughs> Have I been swindled? Please tell me. <laughs> Listen, say, uh, keep it to yourself. <laughs> yeah, I have a thousand on. USBs there. <laughs> and uh, I got a wee tip from a boy. He's delivering it. He's posting it to me. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're going cheap now because that USB-C. Uh, USB-C scrap. No one's going to move over. <laughs> Nobody's going to take it. Nobody's got to move over. Let me that tell was you. another thing as well. They changed that law, he said yesterday. What? The EU now have brought in a law so Apple can't be the wankers that they've always been when you're having different chargers. So everybody has to, everybody now has to conform apparently to the USB-C. That's so wise. It is wise. You, I mean, the amount seems, of fucking chargers you have around your C, house. Would you say that now? Good transfer speed. C is the way to go. Like, yeah, it's anything, fast, it? anything that I couldn't believe. Like see, see like those little hard, solid state hard drives and you mm-hmm. get the wee fucking fast transfer cable and you would just, like stuff you'd have to leave overnight and it just goes one gig, two gig, three, da, 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 and, and over. And you're just like, see if I'd have had this in 2012, man, I'd have been doing piracy. I'd have been fucking but doing piracy, imagine, big stuff. Honestly, if you imagine like the, 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 the technology jump in 10 years, imagine what you would have been producing, as you say, like fucking 10 years, if you were able to do that. Because as you say, overnight, then you, you've lost fucking 12 hours. But if you're sitting there for seconds. It, well, that's it. That's, but how quick do you get used to it? Like, well, uh, yeah, you, get, you, you get used to everything fucking immediately. I mean, you're. You could apply the same thing to, we're talking about prices and stuff. Mm. You adjust to the diesel cost in the fucking arm and leg. Every, you get used to everything. Yeah. Straight away. You could get new internet and the day after you're like, this is fucking, you know. Because you don't see it instantly. That's what I'm saying. You yeah. don't see the change instantly in your pocket. You'll just yeah. go, oh fuck. It's, it's when it comes to the end of the year or you look back at things, you're going, fuck, I didn't do that holiday this year. Oh, that's why. It's because I was paying a lot more yeah. fucking. Yeah. But you never see it instantly. So you do, as you say, you just adjust and you just go, fuck, I have to pay this. But when do we, like, I don't know, start a Reva fuck, Reva fuck illusion? Reva fuck illusion. That's the name of the podcast. Reva fuck illusion. Reva fuck illusion. Uh, when boys. do we just decide to go to the, uh, like, especially those. Uh, I would understand if the price of oil barrels had went through the roof. And so then. Obviously, it makes sense that at the petrol pumps, it's going to go through the roof. But when that's at its fucking lowest and we're paying, like, who's making this money? Some cons making it, and it's not us. Yeah. It's just it's all, all them Saudi boys that, like, rent girls from the UK and shit in their mouths. <laughs> you ever see that video? No. Jesus, no. That's what, that's the crack. Like, you, it wouldn't surprise me. You know, they fucking, uh, they pick up these, like, you know, what's the term? Escort. Uh-huh. And uh, Mark Companionship. Uh, yeah. And they go, like, you know, someone might be like, my my nightly rate is five thousand pounds, and they go, I tell you what, <laughs> I'll give you fifty, love. And she's like, Oh my goodness, fantastic! Uh-huh. What what a week for me! And then you get to the fucking, you know, the top of the Burj Khalifa, and ten boys are shitting in your head. Hi, you feel dogs like a, are fucking you. Like it's it's insane. Some of the stories coming out of it. You ever see that uh, American Psycho when, you, when the hookers are collecting money at the end? They're, they're completely destroyed. Yeah, <laughs> <That's> yeah. <sick. laughs> it's just giving them money. Because you just, you just, I mean, like, that world is fascinating. Just that absolutely lawless amounts of fucking money and power. Yeah, that, that, fucking I think, I think, that's, the, I think like, that's, that, that is one of our biggest problems as plebs. We can't get into that mindset because you can't, you can't get into that mindset because you can't understand what it would be like to spend 85 billion on a boat. You know what I mean? You're not like going to, or 85 million sorry, the, on a boat, you're not going to be able to figure that out. Like the most exposure I've had to that is just this experience recently with Kevin Hart being in the thing. Yeah. And you see how he moves with the team and everything, and you're like, that seems very alien. But then you you don't know what it's like to be Kevin Hart. You don't know what it's like to have an like industries hanging off the fact that you're 
well and yeah, comfortable absolutely. and ready to yeah. go and blah yeah. blah blah. And, because even, know, I mean... Uh, we're like, all sitting around going, why does he not hang about in the fucking green room with me and fucking Niall and Jordan Robinson? Why does he not sit out here and vape yeah. and have fucking, you know, a Coke Zero? You're just like, it's not the same. It's not and, the same and at all. A, he's a, he's a, as well as being a, a stand-up, he's obviously a fucking very good businessman. 100%. So time is money to him. Absolutely. So no disrespect to Jordan, but time with Jordan... <laughs> it's not going to make you a lot of money. <laughs> you're not going to be able to retire on those funds. He basically came to Lavery's last night to play a Nintendo Switch. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't speak to anyone. <laughs> Shout out to him. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but he, I mean, that's a good example. Yeah, somebody but that I mean, amount of money. But even he's, but he, that's what I'm saying. I'm not talking about him. He's like, he's nearly into the billions, but he's still not. That's it. My point was. He's still not as rich as the fucking you top know, he's level. like self-made. You, yeah. you get a person who is born into ludicrous wealth, like can do whatever, you, like run the run the country wealth. Yeah. And then they have too much spare time in their hands and they're just like, wouldn't it be some crack if we got some fucking English prostitute over here and just got, got the dog to fuck her in the ass? Mm-hmm. Wouldn't that be some crack? What are you doing today? You busy? A la, round. a la Prince Andrew. A la Prince Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> fucking, he got COVID right in Sharpish, didn't he? <laughs> They're keeping him in the dungeons. Or I had it? a joke on stage. I was like, "How did they know he had COVID?" He's like, "I had a, I had a tickly cough and I broke out in cold." I was cold. <laughs> <laughs> I was just very cold. Yeah, didn't even sweat during COVID. The can't. No, nah, fuck me. But yeah. I mean, talk about. But even that last dodging week, I mean, a bullet like. But even that fucking shit last week of all that. The amount of money that cost, and we paid for it. Exactly. They're rich as fuck, and he we're paid, still paying for it. <laughs> even when he paid, he paid your woman off for. And part of this, one of the stip- million or something. seventeen. One of the stipulations was like she wasn't allowed publicly to mention the case during the jubilee year. So next year, but nothing, nothing, say, gonna be dead nothing says her. I did it more than here's some cash. Fuck up. Yeah, fuck up. Don't say nothing next year. Do we get this big fucking jubilee all the way and get all the money as like as much as we can of them? I just think like there's something no harm to anyone who's into it, but like celebrate like actually going like isn't this great we've got the union jacks around the house i've bought the commemorative plates and all mm-hmm. we love our lizzie like, like even if you take the union jack it's it sad cunt. and you're in dutch royalty because here if you mention you, know, you could divide the fucking thing royalty in general what the fuck are we doing like we, we've we've moved on surely <laughs> like no we should like as humans realize that no bloodline is more important than the other one well Bl- blind boy actually on his one of his recent podcasts had he was talking about art and the capture of time mm-hmm. in art yeah, through the years and centuries. And he was saying, like, a lot of those portraits that were painted when they were all fucking incestuous and they were, you know, yeah. coming out like fucking... <laughs> all look the same. Just all fucking big chins <laughs> and all fucking up and all. <laughs> that was proof. That was like, I'm a queen. You're like, I, I don't fucking give a shit. And they're like, well, here's the proof. Here's the, here's the, here's the, the bloodline. Which yeah. doesn't, you know, branch off too much. It's no, fucking it never, pretty, yeah, it never does. Pretty close to the, and that's the thing. The I tree. mean, uh, we don't because we're not f- part of that whole thing. We don't give a fuck about genealogy. You know, we don't look no. at it, but they do. Yeah, you know, the the, the top uh, levels are very, very into their fucking bloodlines, and, and I would we understand don't really it fuck. if they were like superhumans. You see all those Rothschilds and all that shit, mm. and you're like these decrepit fucking wafy baby bird looking pathetic yeah. cunts. You're but like they they, these have, aren't like, but they all have children. And their children of grandchildren, you know what I mean? Yeah. That's the way it goes. Just continues on. There'll be another generation of Rothschilds will become that. The old. Trumps, you know how many like there's no gangly fucking. I don't give a fuck. Have you seen a photograph of Elder Rothschild? That boy you're on about? That mm. is Montgomery Burns. Mm-hmm. Like that is where he's based on. There's no fucking doubt that. It is. looks like if you sneeze near him, he'd rip in half. <laughs> You know what I mean? You just roundhouse, clean through his ribcage and out the other side of his body. Goosh, like an old rotten tree. <laughs> but yeah, he's, they're, they're one family, but there's loads of families. Like, I mean, there's, there's like a, I, apparently there's, there's quite a few fa- Like, I think there's, they always talk about the 13 bloodlines. I don't know who the 13 are, but um, there's definitely loads of banking families that made a fucking fortune the last hundred years. 100%. Serious money. Whenever you've got the, the, the like, I didn't realize that, Rothschild, Evelyn the Rothschild is the Queen's banker. Mm. So the Queen gets loans of money off. And I'd love her coming in going, it's for a Jen, holiday. She's like, What's I it for? You know, you have to put it in the credit union. I, it's new kitchen. I need another trillion. <laughs> and she's like, can you send over a JPEG of your face? Can you send over a PDF so she that we can print a, this She takes money? a photograph of a 20 pound note. <laughs> I don't, you know, it's one of them things, I don't hate money, you know what I mean? It's like, you should be able to yeah. fucking, you know, 
make your own and if you want to push it on do well go oh, for it like you yeah, know that sort yeah. of free I, I wouldn't say i'm a capitalist idea. but i would definitely wouldn't be a socialist i don't think a socialist i don't think socialism would work no you know i think but i think there's it there should be sure it's, it, it exists in plenty of places yeah. and they're fucking eating grass because but i'm wondering food. is there a way of Korea? capping somebody's wealth um, surely you must get to a point you know <sighs> like if you're sitting in the hundreds of billions you're going well well that's insane yeah, where where do you get to the point where you don't need that? If you're much? at the point where it's like you couldn't physically fucking spend this in a yeah. in a lifetime, it, yeah. And but they're smart about it because all we ever see is the Forbes rich list, and the Forbes rich list isn't the fucking true reflection of who's the richest. No, it's in all the world. sports stars and yeah, shit. It's all that shit. And their personal wealth. If you look at BlackRock and Vanguard and what they own, you're in the trillions, fucking trillions, and yeah. they don't belong to a country or, or a sovereign nation. What's BlackRock? Yeah, well, that, that, that's a good example. Nobody knows who the fuck they are, but they own everything. And I mean everything. Is it they, one of those, like, you know, when you start a new limited company, just to avoid a bit of tax, they, like, a bunch of people just come together and be like, we kind of float? Well, if you, go to, if you go to a company's house, even just for UK, and if you go and look at any company, like Next or Argus or Marks and Spencer, anywhere, and look at... Don't the, let me get into it about Next. And if you look into their shareholders, who the institutional shareholders are, You'll be guaranteed you'll find one, if not all three of these. So you've got BlackRock, Vanguard, and Berkshire Hathaway. We're going to get killed. Uh. <laughs> yeah. I think BlackRock's been buying, they've been buying up all the property down south. They're the ones that's buying all the Yeah, well, houses. that's why it's fucking £900 a night for an Ibis or something. Yeah, that's what I mean. And you used to be able to fucking kill a prostitute for forty one quid in an ibis, and now it's like you gotta be you gotta be like fucking Saudi royalty to to fucking go for a pint in Dublin for the night. It is getting to, and it's it's but, a, but, yeah, but who are they pricing out? They're obviously pricing out local people, 100%. you know, because local people can't afford that. So that's what I'm saying. So is there enough people coming into the country to fill? That? I don't think there is. But those, but, you know, those it sounds to me. I don't know much about it, but it sounds to me like there's probably some sort of tax loophole for those meta and all those type of folks. Mm. And the people just kind of leech the, you know yeah. what I mean? They're just there. They're not, re- it's not going back in is what I'm saying. It's, no. it's all just fucking being gathered up and that's, that's what I'm, taken and, and, away. But that is the biggest problem. We're going to get into deep again. Like, but the corporations do that. The corporations do that to every country. They don't, yeah. again, they're not, we're, we're fucking conditioned to be like, oh, the Chinese are doing this or the Russians are doing this or the Americans are doing that. And in reality, it, the countries don't fucking matter. It's the corporations who are multinational. They're called multinational for a reason. Yeah. They don't belong to a country. Class. They have their own fucking rules. And then us dickheads here, there's, do you know there's only one thing? If Stormont could back to, tomorrow, there's only one thing that they can all agree on. Let's lower the corporation tax. Because mm-hmm. that's what corporations do. They fucking, they dangle these jobs over the front of a country. So they'll lower the tax for them, and then we all get jobs going, oh, brilliant, I can stack shelves. Yeah. <laughs> like, fuck me, man. This is a, we should be charging them fucking more. We have no. gone deep oh, the day. Okay. Always the way. Uh, uh, oh, fuck. You should but, know by now. When and there isn't even drugs in this like, vape. There isn't even drugs in the fucking room. I know what's worse. Gordon Rochford might listen to this and be like, I'm fucking telling you, man, he's wrong. He's fucking, you know, there's like, he's fucking. All I'm always he told He would him be wrong. so pissed off that you, you scrape on the surface so much. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm always told I'm wrong all the time. That's all right. That's fine. Marks and Spencer, man. Fucking well, don't, don't even chat to me. <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was that BlackRock thing. I didn't know much. I'm the same as you. Like, I was a couple of years ago. So who the fuck's BlackRock? I just love bringing that right down to a very local, personal level where I'm like in my accountant and he'd be like, well, he's, what the fuck money are you paying for a drape? <laughs> <laughs> you have to hire mics have you not your own mics at this fucking stage you ball bag <laughs> answer the phone oh, who's that hangs up that's Chinese we could have one of those uh, very precise accountants <laughs> <laughs> running the country would be alright we're doing grand <laughs> uh, with a fine tooth comb yeah. just skimming through it <laughs> I feel like I need to stop I know, for a that, that's good. I always say this when I come on podcasts. You use cunts fucking take me down the fucking rabbit hole. And I don't, no, but this is, you know what I mean? And I don't want to go down the fucking, this, this <laughs> like, is, we have our podcast for that. This is the, this is the quarterly, uh, <laughs> the catch up. This is my highlights. This is my, this is my fucking, I have no time to be sitting, you know, balls deep in it, but uh, you know, I'll just put, you know, it's like fucking just walk up to you and be like, what's the crack? <laughs> and then three hours later, you're like, oh fuck, I should have uh, asked my question. Just back to normal. <laughs> have you any big shows planned now? Nah? Uh, we have a live podcast next week in Black Box. Sorry, loud. Sorry, loud. Uh, what day is that? Can I go? Friday. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, it's fr- nice Friday. Friday. Yeah. I don't want to go back. Uh, and, and here you yeah, go. Absolutely. We have. Uh, Won't go to my gigs, but you go to yours. <laughs> are you? Are you staying overnight? Are you? Friday. Uh-huh. I don't know. Uh, 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 he, I said to Nala, I was like, if I buy a bed for your house, can I stay in it? <laughs> uh, 
Me and young Bartlett have a wee apartment booked now. Oh, why? Where at? The dream apartment. Oh, why? It is the dream. <laughs> it is the dream. I don't I, get out too often. I so talked about it last week. Um, is it in the Oval Tower or is it in the other bit? Uh, I'm not too sure. Because I, I... We stayed there. And it, mm-hmm. for some reason, gets a bad reputation. If you go on TikTok and, like, you know, people are checking into the rooms and there's fucking, like, you know, uh, someone's still asleep in the room. <laughs> like, fucking shit like that, but... It's good. Yeah. good. God help the poor bastard wakes up and me and Bartlett standing with it. I know. <laughs> it, worked, it worked for me. It was grand. Uh, yeah, so that's next Friday. So I uh, yeah, plan to be, a, it'll be a drunk podcast, which as you know, I, I believe recently you, you, you've you learned that maybe uh, that's not a great idea, um, Mickey. Yeah, I thought it would be fun to ceremoniously <laughs> hand out a bottle of Buckfast to them three boys, right? <laughs> Thinking like, they've beers and all. You know, I was thinking like, oh, you know, it's a bit of crack, have a sip, we'll do, have a bit of a chat. Mickey just fucking hunched over it. <laughs> Blurp, blurp, kept drinking, kept drinking, kept drinking. I swear to God, how how much was cut out of that? I know it was probably was it about eight minutes? No way, fuck. It was about eight minutes out of an hour and something, right? Which is doesn't sound like much. That sounds yeah. like a regular edit. But if you think about every minute of that, was like absolutely, ca- you know, your see you later career. Oh yeah, I can imagine. You know, yeah. Just some there's of the times stuff. where I and he says something, I'm like, what the fuck? Now pour some fucking buck fast on that. Oh and the excitement God. of a yeah. thousand and fifty people. Yeah, that's what I mean. That happens beside me on a fucking Tuesday morning. You know, with nothing involved. Might as well going to be like next week. So, yeah, if you're coming next week and you have tickets, uh, be prepared. Because yeah. daddy's getting drunk too. Daddy's getting drunk mm-hmm. too. Oh, my God. Uh, no, that's going to be fucking lethal. I'll go to that. Yeah, our, our telegraph bill thing was fucking bananas. Like It looked amazing. It was fucking, fucking it was fucking bananas. And even like the R just went like that. And you're sort of like, do we keep going, or yeah, do we I sort know. of keep it there? Because you, you sort of you're mindful of the audience too. They totally. all want to go and get a drink and want to get a break. Or like we're know, so. we're full of fucking booze and adrenaline, so it's just yeah. like whoop, 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 back Did and forth, back and forth. But to stand up first, I got Woodsy and McCann to do it. Right, did I? Um, which I was sort of jealous. I could have went on myself, but there's something there's something takes the sting out of the podcast yeah, if you've already been up for a minute I've, breaking that fourth wall isn't it but I've, me and him do that me and Mikey do like a fifteen minutes twenty minute each at the start yeah. and then break and then do the. Um, but I would like to just come on as fresh. And I'll tell you, but. there's actually a photo of me and Mickey doing like a live podcast in the green room right. at the black box years ago right. when it was like, like a, like a fucking, just an idea I had. Mm-hmm. I, I don't know if I'd seen a live podcast, but it was no like, way. I was just like, it would be cool if we did this like with a wee audience and we did it. How many years are you talking about? Oh my God. Like fucking eight maybe. I, I, I could I could pull up the photo if I hoped for it there, like, but, no. um, yeah, there's a photo of me and him just sitting on two stools looking at each other with the microphones, and that was just a fucking. I've been doing the podcast, and I was like, this would be yeah. a good idea, and we went, and we, we did it, and it was probably a bit messy, and didn't know what the fuck it was supposed to be like, but then, groundbreaking nonetheless. And then you look at the fucking Telegraph building. It's a wee bit of a difference. Isn't it? Well, I tell you what the difference is, like. There, we say live podcast, but it's you have to make it like a show. It has to be a show because it's yeah. a thousand people, so we yeah. have fucking videos and all sorts of shit. Yeah, I'll show you the the fake manscaped ad we made. Oh fuck, brilliant! Where we cut <laughs> hard to a guy shaving his actual bollocks, um, which you can see on Patreon. Which you can see on Patreon, my guys. Thank you. <laughs> There he is. There oh, he is. Always earning his money. He's he signed always a new five earning. year contract and he's fucking <laughs> performances through the roof. It's on Patreon. Thank you now for keeping me and fucking. Be- fucking We're also doing the SSC <laughs> Arena twentieth of October. If you want to get your tickets, my guys never fucking misses. A and we're doing that. one. Ah, we're doing fucking. one night at the SSC because I've had a few people going. Sure, when you add another one, I'll see if that suits me oh, better. We're doing one fucking night. Fuck up, dude. You fucking bastards. I'm going on tour. It's called Both Biles. Hitting everywhere. Lovely. Come down your neck of the woods. I know. Oma. <laughs> into the into the big hotel. Boy. Into the Birches, sir. We do hear this. This is the list, right? If you go on the shine.net, you can get tickets for all these. Derry, St. Collins Hall, mm-hmm. Cookstown, Newcastle, Newry, Armagh, Oma, Ballycastle, Marfeld, Belfast, SSE, Edinburgh, Glasgow, Manchester, Liverpool, London. Excellent. And we're also going to the fringe. Are oh, you going to the fringe? Aye. We're doing nice the one. we're doing the run over there. Um would have been I don't know. Could you make it? Make it over for a day? Uh, do a fucking nice set? You know I mean? Make it over for a few days, maybe, yeah. Because mm. I've got I've got my... It's General Bander Live, Con Gettys Presents. 
nice. So one. it's they they basically wanted like Lavery's Comedy Club in in there yeah. in there. So I I had I had to tell them who was on each day, and I had a night to do it. So it was a lot of people couldn't do it. She and you know yeah. all all, of, all the ones the regulars. So me and McCann are there every day, and then we have William, and then Mickey, and then Kieran. I'll try and get over but, there, yeah. you know, there's room for drop-ins, for yeah, sure. Absolutely. If you want to come over and fucking get lit. Ah, I let that thing. Yeah. I found a fun uh, video the other day. Um, it's on my f- on my phone. Um, I might just play this here, Niall, and I'll send it to you to cut in. Oh, look at it. More work for Niall. Love that. I made a post on my page to let people know that Joe is my friend, and I've known him for 12 years, and I know for a fact that that man is not racist. There's not a racist bone in the guy's body. I would defend him to the end of the earth, but his daughter's black. He's never once mentioned it no. in all the defenses he could have made. He no, raised right. a black girl yeah. who loves him very much and calls him dad. You can't be a racist to do that. <laughs> right. Did you know that? Yeah. Did you? Yeah. Uh, I only found that out today. It was talked about uh, on a forum somewhere. And again, it was one of those ones where I like, no. And I had to go and look. I was like, fuck, and he does. But like, I've seen a, I've seen a couple of gangster moves recently. Mm. The first one was Norm MacDonald mm-hmm. dying, yeah. basically. <laughs> and not fucking saying a word to anybody. Mm-hmm. And he had like cancer three times in his, in his life. Man was and amazing. then he just passed away and had a special ready and was... Second, I'd known you. Oh no, gangster as yeah. fuck. Like, that's the, that's so, like, yeah, so gangster. Same as Chadwick Boseman, mm-hmm. you know. And everyone's like, man, you, boy, 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 boy well, one, went, yeah. yeah, he fucking um, and Prince as well. I don't think anybody really knew anybody that he was. Was he sick or did he just? I don't think he was. No, that's what I'm saying. I don't think there was anything about. I that. thought. I, don't know. I thought Prince was one of those like. Was it a sudden? Was it a heart attack? Was it that sort of thing? But I think it was a bit like the Jackson thing, where it was like right, okay. a cocktail of pills that he was on, and oh, right, okay. probably fucking fentanyl or you know them fucking yeah, things. Was on, yeah. But how that is, that is such a gangster move, I think. Unreal. Because when they're they're trying to rip him apart and he's racist and they're obviously just trying to knock him off the fucking yeah and because that's the, the, that's the that joy on. of it but it's kind of it's the same thing with uh musk what's going on at the moment with, with twitter he doesn't have to do he just has to like fire out the, the bait yeah he doesn't have to say anything he can sit back and just same as rogan in knowing that he's protected in that sense and knowing that he's right what he's talking about and Musk's the same. He's like, he's like, well, today, last night was it? The Twitter finally agreed to give him the internal data on the, the bots, right? Because he said he wouldn't buy Twitter unless Twitter revealed how many bots are actually in existence and how many accounts are real or not. And I was like, that is fucking hardcore. There, that is clean them that, out. That's cleaning them out big time. Right? Yeah, and he hasn't even bought the fucking thing. Yeah, the thing hasn't gone through. You know, it's not going to go through the end of the year. But what he has done already, even the Saudi fucking prince had to come forward and say, oh, I'm a number three shareholder on Twitter. And everyone's like, what? Wow. The things that he has exposed just by saying, I'm going to buy it. It's fucking You see, there's a, there's a good rich person. Hmm. You know, he's a good person yeah. to be like rich and But powerful. if you were, if you're, because last year he was like, apparently if you're on the left, you, you hit him now. I, I wouldn't be able to keep up anymore of who I'm supposed to hit and who I'm not supposed to hit. But last year, like he was loved. Because of electric vehicles and all that sort of stuff, know, and but it's all no, it's like it's all like it's mad how it flips and flaps all over the place. It's just you have to ha- you have to fit into a box. You have to have a label. Yeah, you can't just be like, oh, I just I just uh, agree with what seems to be sensible. People are like, no, yeah, don't be logic nonsense. and rationale are old fashioned. They're old school thinking styles. I love that. Uh, <laughs> did you see a whistle there for no reason? See that? Um, did you see <laughs> um, a call back? Uh, purple hair bag <laughs> lost at the. Uh, I was found at the <laughs> office at the front there. Purple head bag. N E one four A B J. And it is a brown Ford probe. <laughs> uh, what a thing to stick in my mind. That was like one of my dad's uh, jokes back. At, I don't know. He would just be like Ford brown Ford probe. <laughs> Who the fuck named that? My dad is coming out with zingers recently. He's like, he, he had uh, a big load of the old intestines ripped out with mm-hmm. bile cancer. Right. And uh, got the bag in and all that temporarily. But it's, just, it's like, sometimes I'm like, someone be like, you know, where, where did you, where did you decide you were a comedian? Or where do you think, when do you think uh-huh. you got funny? And then the older I get, the more I hear off my dad. I'm like, oh, what's from that? <laughs> <That's>, I can't die. <laughs> he, goes, yeah. he goes to me like, 
he goes, uh, first of all, it was quite sad. He goes, I don't want to tell you anything because of what Morning had been through. And I was like, for fuck's sake, man. I know, Jesus Just tell yeah. me, man. Like, Fuck. And then he goes, I, they got this bag in. They cut a load of, they cut a couple of feet out of the guts there. And then he goes, hopefully they're going to reverse it after three months. Right? <laughs> he goes, and sure, if they can't, don't they just stitch up your jam roll and you just carry on? <laughs> There's no fucking better way of wanting to stitch it up and move on. But fuck. Stitch up, the, but he said jam roll. jam roll. Stitch up the jam roll and sure you fucking wear the same pair of knickers for three weeks straight. You're fucking clean as a whistle. Maybe. Uh, but you have to fucking have, you know, that you need to have that fucking humor to get through shit like that, don't you? Like it's fucking it's the only way. Like. I know. But yeah, you're just like fucking, where do you get such inventive uh, swearing from? Yeah, your turn of free has always impressed me, so now I know where it's coming from. I know, fuck it hell. Um, <laughs> we were, how long have we done there now? Like 57. 57 50 minutes. Jesus, I haven't even, we haven't even had fun yet. We haven't even had <laughs> fun yet. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, listeners. <laughs> we'll wrap it up shortly and we'll, we'll shift over to the Patreon for the questions. Is mm-hmm. the Queen alive or dead? Mm-hmm. Connor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she is alive. Um, she is alive. Allegedly. What? I mean... <laughs> I, I, uh, what's the yeah. role? You know what I mean? Are they are they just what's the what's the point? Is it just like a tourist thing that they're keeping her hanging about, or is she actually well, in control? Well, that's of what they've always said for a long time, uh, for years. The, the, the rationale and justifying the money money it costs us is the tourism it brings into the country, but it doesn't bring it into the country of England. It brings it into London and to a specific part, Buckingham Palace. Uh, but I don't know. I mean, maybe there is a load of income from that. The, the weird thing is that she, like she, when I say she, the fucking, the crown owns everything. <laughs> Watch this boy go on his hope. Oh. <laughs> Jeez, very rare to see a Queen's Guard fucking even blinking, never mind falling in his hole. They must have fainted, did they? See if someone said to me, you've two options here, bro. You can stand in this box for 12 hours straight with fucking Japanese tourists going, oh, like pointing cameras at your face and fucking girls taking selfies and all this here shit. Or you go straight to, you know, cave. Yeah. I'd be like, send me there. Send me over there. Where's my fucking Kevlar vest? Get me over there to fuck. I'm not standing <laughs> Stand there all there. fucking day needing a shit. Out. That'd be my worst night. I wonder, do you, I wonder, do, <laughs> I wonder do they go all like, all formal, <laughs> take the knickers off. <laughs> Funk, Stri- like paper. Yeah, the wipes all folded like thirteen times in the triangle. Yeah. <laughs> Just one sheet, and then you clean your finger with the other one. Straight back out. <laughs> Dick's always erect. <laughs> Just push it to the side. That's because there's no blood in her head. That's why it's just cause it's always there all Could the time. You, especially imagine and it starts to move in the summer, and always be standing there with sweat <laughs> beating off you, just in the middle of fucking. Here we are. But the question has to be: Why does she own everything? So she owns all the land. When I say she, I mean the the, the, the crown. crown. Yeah. yeah. And I didn't know that. And we only locally found that out in Tyrone whenever the gold mine was trying to be put in. That So say you own this property oh. where your house is on. Yes. You actually just own the surface. You don't own below a certain number of feet. Okay. So that is the actual law of the land is the queen owns all the land. I own the core of the earth. Yeah. So uh, it came to the it came to the the sort of to, came to light whenever they tried to put in plan permission and uh, to look into the what hap- has to happen for digging underground. And yeah, the queen owns everything beneath. I I, I was going to say six feet, but I don't even think it's that far down. I think it's something scandalous, like six inches or something. They got really something really small that after that certain depth, she it's the crown land. You actually just own the surface above. I'm getting a couple of layers of astroturf. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if she owned my fucking land, she could get around the, around the edges with a strimmer once in a fucking while. I come around and fucking do a bit of maintenance, you fucker. Yeah, bitch. <laughs> Is Andrew li- alive, do you think? Is he alive? I, there's something very weird about the keep him keeping him out of uh, public eye. I know they, they, they're always showing videos of, of, uh, of royalties at different events and stuff, but... We've seen, like, two years ago with that whole hologram of the Pope. Like, anything could be possible. You don't know fuck who's oh, there on, who's Connor. not there. Do you think he's on the balcony like this? And it's, a little, <laughs> it's a fucking hologram. It's, it has been, well, it's been done with the Pope. I don't know if it's done with uh, the Queen, but it's been done with him. Like, it was oh. an Easter Sunday during lockdown. 
So he was like standing in the balcony waving, and then as he as he turns walked, up a Coachella, as, he, as no, as he walked, I know, but as he walked away, the whole thing just disappeared. You're like, what the fuck happened there? I think oh, it was hologram. There was no people there because it was in lockdown, so that's obviously why they didn't, you know, use the real one. But the fact that the technology is there would have to make you question going, hmm. hmm. But then I seen Tupac at Coachella, so I mean, anything's fucking possible. <sighs> Trust not, <nothing>, sir. <laughs> I need a sleep. <laughs> But there was, a, there was, was there a photo? Well, here's the thing about the, the money. As I always say, like, I always say this in the podcast, no matter what, no matter what fucking crazy mad notions you'll hear about or, you know, Obama's fucking Hitler's grandson and all that sort of stuff. Like, you, <laughs> <laughs> the, oh, I can show Hitler you. Hitler would be furious. I can, I can show you the fucking, apparently the genealogy behind it all. It's mental. Like, there are some crazy bastards out there. But to try and keep yourself focused, I always say follow the money. Like, even COVID, who was making the money? Who was Who was profiting the most? Because that's the most important thing. Everything else is fucking just a distraction. And when you see the money that's been passed over hands this last three years, it's fucking like Bezo- I, Bezos and crew. Like it's. I think I've had money. the same the same uh, conversation with Gordo, where it's like, what's the end game mm. of throwing yourself down the rabbit hole? Yeah, or you have to come out. Do you? That do, is the thing. Do you, like, I know. Do you want to? You know, you could be. You could be in two worlds. You could you could really get into it and need to know all the answers, or you could just stay out in the country with your wee family and just fucking walk through the fields. And that's the other side. That's I don't, the other, think, there's that, any, I don't think there's anything wrong with that either. Yeah, that's the other side of the rabbit hole. When you get right down to through all the madness and all the shit that people you know put out there, and especially on the internet, but it boils down to like right, look after yourself. Look after your family. Look after your home. You know, it, it boils really does boil down to that. It's like a self fucking journey. You realize then that all the other shit you really don't care about. Exactly. Like you know, and if, that even, if all your even, fucking friends and family abandon you because you're a fucking psychopath with things and you're on your deathbed, you'd be like, well, maybe I shouldn't have been looking at Johnny Depp's elbow too long. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but there's other you know there's things that we go you 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 have to say. Well, is it is it worth it in that sense? Is it yeah. worth you know? And like I've always said throughout our whole thing is. You have to be, you have to be open to the suggestion the fact that you're wrong. No, that's a that's a hard no deal. Th- <laughs> <laughs> that's a hard thing to people to get through, you know. And if you look, look, if you watch what went on during lockdown and the people for lockdown and people anti lockdown and all that sort of stuff, it 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 was it was everywhere. You know that division was was there, and yeah, you have to be very careful. Either one of them could have been wrong, but both were a hundred percent certain they were right. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Just leave you on that bombshell. Did you see the video with a guy um, being arrested at uh, some Jubilee celebrations? They were trying to arrest this fella, black fella, and right. he was obviously, like every black person in the world right now, petrified of being oh, yeah, arrested. And he was yeah. like, no, 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 no. And he fucking jumped over the bridge. Oh, I did see that. He was, uh, the taser still attached to him? Yeah. And I fucking... Geez. Is there water beneath that? There is water beneath that bridge, but I'm sure it's a long way down. Like. Mm-hmm. That's a fucking yeah. It's gonna be. You'd like to. You'd like to hope the taser uh, come apart from him by that stage, or he's fucking. Oh my god, he's double water. fucked. That's like <laughs> yeah, electric. Jumping in, the in there with a toaster on the ground. <laughs> yeah, there's some fucking. I mean, that that is the other thing. Sometimes that you would flick through Twitter or something, you'll see a video and go, "Fuck, this world needs a reset." Yeah, like it does. Like as much as the 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 conspiracy theory is that the, they're trying to put us under some sort of reset. I'm like, bring it on, because this place is fucking mental. I know. You can't even like Maureen's very aware of that sort of stuff now. She's just like, I can't even entertain any of it. Yeah, it's, you know, I can't. I can't be watching videos of people f- like that video. People fighting. Yeah. People fucking getting arrested, shot. And it's it's so rife. It's unbelievable. America. I wouldn't fucking fly there at the moment for fucking love nor money. No, Especially like some we, of the big we, cities. Like I wouldn't. We were in Austin, and you know, it's supposed to be the new hub of all things mm-hmm. cool and all, but like it's a dump now, isn't it? Like it's cool. It it, it has a lot of character and. Whatever, but you know, pretty quickly, like right outside where we were staying was just where the fucking homeless guys hung yeah. out, like and fucking you know did whatever freestyle rapped mainly. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's a dump. Like uh, it's a fucking dump. Uh, even even like my dad or anyone worrying anyone that was going through a lot of treatment and stuff over mm-hmm. here, and you're like, this is all, you know every wee fucking thing they give you. There's a painkiller. There's an auntie. Whatever. There's whatever. In America, that would just be like ding, 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 All ding, ding. Adding up, adding up, adding up. Stay another night. Ding. You know, fucking two hundred and fifty dollars to have skin to skin contact with your newborn baby. Two hundred and fifty dollars. What for them to pass the baby to there for you to have the mother to have it out of skin when it's born? 
and they actually have a name for it. I don't know if it's, I can't remember what the name is for it, but it's you know, $250 for that movement of here. <laughs> reset it. Reset it. <laughs> the, <laughs> fuck, reset the whole fucking plan. We're getting out of here. We're going to reset ourselves. We're going to reset and we're going to move over to the page off of the questions. Cheers, Connor. Follow Connor on everything. Listen to Deck Chair and Yums. Um, oh, we're also sponsored by Flow CBD LTD. <laughs> <laughs> How do you get the CBD boys in? Eh? I know them. We're friends. Yeah. Um, yeah, if you spoke to them, they they they've they've a, a summer sale on with the code spring. You get forty percent off. Holler. <laughs> so if you want to shave your nuts in a calm way, Excellent. get that CBD yeah. in the wake up. Your joints <laughs> feel good. It's all good, right? We're moving over to the Patreon. Patreon.com forward slash General Vander for bonus material. Thank you, Connor. Thank you. And I, I need therapy. <laughs> so what, guys? We'll start a property. Let's fucking go. Yeah! Oh, yeah!